I want to introduce somebody who has been an extraordinary advocate. If any of you have seen the film Ithaca, there's no better documentary record of Julian's legacy and on behind the scenes look at what the fight to get him free has taken and what it's cost members of his family. Gabriel Shipton is the producer of Ithaca, among other things. He's been a tireless advocate for Julian. He also happens to be Julian Assange's brother. Please welcome Gabriel Shipton to the stage. Thank you. Yay! Hi, everybody. Um, big thank you to Scott Ludlam and also Uncle Jimmy, who's getting the smoking happening. Um, big thank you to, to him as well. Did anyone, anyone seen Joe Biden? I can't, can't <laughs> I can't see him here. He, I don't think he, uh, I don't think he came. He got lost. No, he got lost somewhere, somewhere in the debt ceiling, debt ceiling crisis. Look, um, you know, Scott spoke a little bit, you know, about, about the support and about what is now a worldwide movement uh, for freedom of expression that has developed about around the fight. Uh, to free uh, Julian Assange and I think if anything is to be taken from Julian's persecution it's that it has mobilized people all around the world it has mobilized hundreds if not a thousand of you to come here uh, today it's groups in every single parliament as Scott was saying from you know Brazil to the United Kingdom uh, Australia over a quarter of the parliament now uh, in a an official free Julian Assange group. So if there's anything to take away from this, it's it's that the fight uh, gives meaning to, to Julian's work and has brought us all together here uh, to fight for one of the things that is so important, uh, so important uh, to, to our Western democracies, and that's, and that's a free press. How can we know, how can we make decisions about our society if we don't know what our governments do in our name? It's not possible. I want to talk a little about, a bit about the, uh, the special relationship, special relationship that we have uh, with two of uh, Julian's persecutors, the United Kingdom and the United States. We're about to tie ourselves to this special relationship for another 30 years. Uh, we've been in it for, for many, many uh, decades beforehand. And I think what we are seeing happening here in Australia, this political movement, this political unity behind the calls uh, to free Julian Assange should be reflected uh, in this uh, special, special, uh, this AUKUS, uh, this AUKUS arrangement that, that Australia has entered into. And so I think it's a really important time that we reflect and, and, and allow ourselves to see, you know, are we really equal partners in, in this AUKUS no, alliance. No, no, no. And if we were, wouldn't our allies listen to our Prime Minister? Wouldn't they listen to our opposition leader? Wouldn't they listen to 79% of the Australian population and free Julian Assange? Anyway, I'll leave it to the rest of the speakers. Uh, thank you again for coming and uh, yeah, keep fighting. We're closer than ever. And with all your help, we can do this together. Thank you.